Mr. Mitchell. Question number five. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, with your permission, I'll take questions five, six, and ten together. Last week's visit to the U.S. was, without doubt, the most successful visit that the Deputy First Minister and I have made since we took office. The week-long programme was specifically aimed at promoting the Northern Ireland economy in all its forms, and I am pleased to inform the Assembly that we used our time to promote not only inward investment opportunities, but also trade development and tourism. We began our itinerary in Chicago, where we met with both existing investors and the chief executive officers of several leading U.S. companies who are potential investors. We also addressed an audience of some 200 leading business figures in Chicago on the benefits of establishing in Northern Ireland. We were pleased to receive the personal endorsement of the Mayor, Richard Daly, for the work we are doing to strengthen the local economy. Mayor Daly welcomed us to City Hall, where we had the opportunity to learn about the work he had commissioned in that city to improve services to voters and how he had introduced measures to address falling city government revenues. In Washington, D.C., we continue to promote our economic development objective as a Northern Ireland, at a Northern Ireland Business Round Table, which has been organised on our behalf by the United States Economic Envoy Declan Kelly. That event included members of some of Northern Ireland's most successful companies who were in Washington as part of a strategic trade mission organised by Invest Northern Ireland. Later, we had a private meeting with the Secretary of State, Hillary Clinton, which we used to discuss opportunities for securing further support from the Obama uh, administration for economic development initiatives here. Also in Washington, we joined executive colleagues Arlene Foster, Sareg Empe and Margaret Ritchie at the Northern Ireland Bureau breakfast, where we presented, I hope, a united front to an audience of some 350 politicians, senior officials in the Obama administration and members of the local business community. Minister Foster presented a very compelling multi-screen video of the five signature projects and encouraged all those in attendance to visit and experience our world-class tourist product. The highlight of our visit to Washington was our meeting with President Obama at the White House. We were delighted that despite the enormous pressure on the President with regard to the health care bill, which at that stage was going through Congress, he gave us 30 minutes of his time to talk about Northern Ireland. The President was joined at the meeting by the Vice President, Joe Biden, Secretary Hillary Clinton and General Jones, the Director of the National Security Council. This level of engagement by the four top office bearers in the United States Administration was unprecedented and was a clear indication to the American people of the importance that the US Government places on supporting economic growth and political stability here. Most significantly in Washington, the Deputy First Minister and I were able to engage directly with the Secretary of State, President Obama and several members of Congress to seek their support for an economic conference in Washington in the autumn of this year. Although this event is at the very early stages of development, I can confirm that it will be a focused event targeted at a limited number of very senior executives who will be especially selected with the help of Declan Kelly and Invest Northern Ireland. The event will be hosted by Secretary of State Clinton and supported by President Obama. In addition, Mr. Speaker, we managed to secure the support of President Obama, Secretary Clinton and members of Congress for the continuation of the International Fund for Ireland. In New York, the Deputy First Minister met with the Comptroller of New York City and New York State and with several leading figures in the Irish-American business community. I went to Houston, Texas, accompanied by Minister Foster and the Invest NI uh, Chief Executive Officer to meet with the executive management of Baker Hughes to discuss their decision to close their Belfast plant and explore how the executive could support the retention of work in Northern Ireland. Last week provided the Deputy First Minister and me with unparalleled access to, most, to some of the most senior decision makers in corporate America. We met with current and prospective investors and a range of senior business and political leaders who can influence investment decisions here. I would like to record our appreciation to Declan Kelly, whose contribution to our itinerary was of vital importance.